you can set lots of stuff in here, but you can also, for example, we don't need asteroids on the overview, so we just right click on it and remove this part from overview. This will hide it. If you want to add it back again, you right click on the asteroid and add belts part to overview. But we don't want it. Okay, one of them is in our target targeting range, so let's lock it. We can also lock more than one ship. Well, on this ship you can lock only two targets, but on better ships you can lock like eight targets. You can also activate modules from your keyboard. For example, oh, you just um, hover over a module and you have a shortcut uh, in the description. F1. F1 deactivates and activates again the module. Also what I like to do is right click on the options over here and show relax. This will show some percent uh, of shit you have left. This is very useful. You can also orbit. This will keep in that range. To orbit on a smaller distance, right click on, a, on an entry, select orbit and set the distance you want. You can also set the de default. So for example, if you would now click on an orbit, it's 5 kilometers uh, distance. So to set it smaller, you set default to 500, and you can now orbit at 500 by clicking here. Let's check the racks. Let's just grab everything they gave us at the beginning. That'll be useful. Okay, actually, we have some asteroids, so I'll show you how to mark. Click on an asteroid and target an asteroid. You have a mining laser. It's a gay one, but it's a laser, so let's just show you. You activate it, and you see that there is a laser shooting at the asteroid. There is also a small circle that will be like drawn all around the module icon. It's a cycle uh, indicator, or something like that. When it goes to the end, the cycle ends, and the mined asteroids are thrown into your cargo hold. So you have to wait until the end of cycle. Or you can also deactivate the module so it will break the cycle and force to add uh, the asteroid to your cargo hold. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, we don't want to wait, so I'll just break the cycle. See? 269 Willspar units. Willspar is, a, is an asteroid. You can, uh, you can uh, check out the uh, items attributes by right clicking and clicking on show info. They have some tabs for, for example, volume units to refine. We refine asteroids to get ma materials. Okay, now let's dock to a station and this will be it for today. Click on this square on your overview. This is a station. Now you can also you, you can click a line that will just go there, uh, right? But flying on your own there would take like a hundred years. So that's why we have a warp drive. Click on warp to within zero meters. I can second button. We are now warping to the station. The best thing in the game. <laughs> well, lots of icons showed up, but I'll explain it later. Okay, we are now, now at the station, we can click on the dock button. You can also uh, automatically dock 
after warping by just clicking the dock button without warp when you are far away. When you click on this icon, our ship will align at the station and we'll try to dock. Yeah, that's it. We are now at station. Okay, see you in the next part.